Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising. Aries, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of January 27th to February the 2nd. This week, Aries, we have a very strong sign from the universe with the Yes Oracle card. We have the Justice energy, we have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles and the beautiful Magician energy. So what I'm seeing here in this reading, Aries, is the end of confusion the end of a situation that may have felt, you know, made you feel unstable, unbalanced, insecure, all of those kinds of things. And now it is time for you to bring this to a head, bring it to an ending by serving justice. And then it's going to be all about you changing your reality, being the creator of a new direction. So there's not really anything to read out with this Oracle card, guys. I don't know if you can, you can see this, but I don't know if the camera focuses, but basically the page in the book just has line after line of just say yes, 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 yes. But it's saying don't overthink it, just say yes. So it's not a time to sit around over analyzing whether you're going to bring the situation to justice. It's time to go with your gut feeling, right? Because sometimes when we start over analyzing and overthinking, we talk ourselves out of things or maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Um, I can put up with it, all that sort of thing. But the indicators are saying it is time to, to, to knock it on the head. So in your recent past here, we have the Seven of Cups, which came out with the Eight of Wands. And I also want to include the Two of Pentacles in this. Yeah, so I mean, let's we'll deal with these two first. To me, this combination says indecision, confusion, instability, especially emotional instability, being on an emotional roller coaster. Um, feeling ungrounded. You know, some of you may have been in the situation that made you feel this way. Now, the Seven of Cups is also my Hollow Promises card. Some of you might have been in a situation with somebody who promised the world but didn't deliver. Somebody who was all talk but wasn't walking the walk. Um, it can also be the temptation of seeing things and people for face value without really inquiring who they really are. Some of you might have gotten into situations because of that and maybe became stuck it can be just that sense of you know somebody promising you things but at the end of the day things weren't materializing and everything was just kind of held like a bit of an illusion here and you couldn't really grasp it the situation wasn't working it wasn't becoming solid or stable it just wasn't materializing and i feel that if somebody was kind of baiting you in that way and breadcrumbing you or kind of dangling the carrot then that can make us feel very, very up and down. And, you know, we see here with the juggler, you know, maybe sometimes it was great when that person was saying the right things, doing the right, doing the right things. And then the next day, the, you know, the other pentacle might have been up in the air and you're just feeling like you don't know where you stand. You feel like you're on shaky ground and you're feeling unstable. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up here with this. So it's not a fun place to be in. You know, we want to feel solid and secure and have both feet on the ground and not be riding emotional roller coasters. But I do feel, you know, with the eight of wands here, a couple of meanings. For some of you, I feel like this indicates that there's going to be swift change, that this situation is going to come to some kind of abrupt V-turn. And that can be through a message or some kind of communication that's coming in, particularly through, you know, social media or, um, you know, email, uh, telephone call, SMS, because it can indicate air travel. Some of you may have been recently on a trip, on a holiday or been away and maybe something happened while you're away or you learned some information. But either way, this is kind of like a little bit of divine intervention, bringing up, you know, bringing something out in the open that is going to inform your decision to bring the situation to justice, to, to end it. That's what I'm strongly seeing here. So in your current energies this week, Aries, we have the Nine of Wands and the Justice Energy, yeah. So some of you may have had an intuition about the situation for some time, um, that things weren't quite what they seemed or that there was some kind of edginess about it. Now guys, it's a general reading, so I'm not sort of saying exactly what the situation is, but it could, we had both Cups and Pentacles, so for some of you it could be in the workplace, something going on behind the scenes, some unfair treatment, that kind of thing. It can be in love 
with somebody you know presenting one face to us um, but being something else underneath it or not until you moved in and committed and then they you know turn the other cheek or they became someone else and showed them your their true colors uh, it can be that sort of thing so the nine of wands is you know about somebody who has kind of weathered the storm and has put up with a lot in this situation might be feeling hurt a bit you know the battered and bruised carrying the battle scars but this is at a nine so it's telling me that this week this is really ready to tip over to completion and the justice energy will help you do that. It shows me that you do have enough energy in the tank to make this transition to get, you know, to get a fair outcome. And the universe is saying yes. So if you're on the fence about this, if you're feeling torn and indecisive, as the two of pentacles can indicate, the answer is yes. The timing is now and the energy is there for justice to be served. Now justice is a card of victory, so it indicates that the party that uh, is in the in the right, it's not just for whoever, whoever wants the justice, that the fair and equitable outcome will work out for, in the person's favour that it should do. Because, you know, the universal balance sheet always adds up and these scales of life need to come back into alignment, Aries. With the justice energy, there can be some kind of legal, legal proceeding as well. So some of you might be having to um, refer to your work contract to see what your rights are in exiting a job, that sort of thing. Some of you might have to involve a, a legal party or a lawyer. There can be, you know, um, prenuptial agreements, divorce papers, that kind of thing, or other kinds of contracts that need to um, be sorted out and reviewed as part of this resolution. But either way, yeah, justice is about you coming back into power and about you, you know, stepping up and putting your foot down and getting the situation to end. It means it's a fair and just modification it needs to happen to bring the energies back into balance because you've been in, you know, a state of instability for too long, Aries. Justice is all about evening the score, balancing those scales. And then I just see the power theme continuing with the Magician and the Two of Wands. I think it's going to lead you to really understanding that now you are in the right space to be the creator of your own reality, the conscious creator with the universe. The Magician is an awakening to the fact that you have all the tools at your disposal in order to create whatever you want for yourself. And it's that awakening and understanding that unlocks your infinite potential. There's also the saying with the magician, as above, so below. And for me, that means that our internal world, you know, is really an indication of our external world and vice versa. So if you have been feeling unstable in the past and not grounded and indecisive, then often we attract uh, other energies that are unstable as well, be it in people who are a little bit flaky or a non-committal, or, you know, in, in situations, roles, friendships that don't really align with us, with people that might not be authentic or might not have integrity. So the idea is that we need to do the inner work first, get ourselves in the right place by releasing, you know, energies and situations that are no longer serving us. And then we can clean up our own energy and become the powerful force that is the magician. And I feel like you're going to be using that powerful force to really decide what is the next path for you? What is that future direction that you're going to move into? Now, in the Two of Wands, we see this person here who has a wand of the past attached to the castle and a wand of the future. But he's grasping that wand of the future. So I really feel this is you making that decision to, you know, even though you still have a connection to this situation at this stage this week, that you have really vowed to yourself, no, I'm moving on and I'm taking the inspired action I need to in order to move on to more fertile pastures because I can see that there's just way more to me and I have the whole world in my hands. But the Two of Wands does ask you to um, leave your comfort zone in order to, great, uh, to, sorry, to grasp that better reality for yourself. So that comfort zone might be leaving a situation um, that you know you maybe in some ways you didn't want to because we can be very um, there's a, a lot of fear of the unknown and we can fear change and sometimes it's just more comfortable to say stay in a situation even though it may not be working for us or 
it's toxic, that kind of thing. Sometimes that can seem easier than the upheaval, than bringing something to a head, than bringing it to justice, than going through that that confrontation or that conflict that might arise from that. But just remember guys, it's short-term pain for long-term gain and there is just a much brighter future ahead for you. Um, the Two of Wands can also be known as that life review card. So some of you this week might be really doing some deep thinking about how you want your life to look in your next chapter that's opening up for you and then really putting the plans in place to make that a reality. But just remember, you may need to leave your comfort zone in order to get it. But we need to, you know, be like the fool in tarot who just, you know, makes the leap, takes the leap of faith. Because we have to trust Aries that when we leap, when we jump, then the universe will catch us. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope you enjoyed this message. Um, do keep in mind it is a general reading and it may not resonate for all of you. Uh, leave me a comment because I always love to know how it's playing out um, in your life and whether it's resonating for you. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.